In this video, I'll be showing you an anti-air that has a bigger role killing tanks rather than planes. And I hope you enjoy this spoiler-free intro. That works. Yep. Oh, that's it. Die, please. In this game, we play on the map Mazak, a map known for its long range engagements and hilly terrains. If what he died once, but that didn't stop us from reaching massive kill counts. Hope you enjoy these upcoming games. That's him dead. That's him dead as well. I thought that Centurion was dead. It was just a confirmation shot. One, yep, bulldog. Let's reload. Could still be something around here. Is he dead? This guy's probably dead. Well, that's the target too, right there. That's my pen. At 1,000 meters plus, I can pen him, so... I might try to do that. Uh, what about later? Rather not try to do it now when he's looking. Penetrated him. It's always nice. I'll take those tracks if you don't mind. A little bit higher. It's a little bit harder with these angles to aim. Also because I don't have any depression. Finally. Seems pretty clear to me. Still don't know why there's no guys on, well, that cap. Yep. Something a bit off with the sensitivity. She never mind, it's just the way I had my hand on the table. Right, that works. Someone tried to shoot me. I'm pushing.
Come on, come on, come on. Bulldog. Right there. Hit him. Didn't get his uh, gunner. Now he's dead. Wasn't too sure if I could uh, hit him over there. Good person made it look easier. It's a reload. So many dead tanks around here. I got already five kills in two planes. It's pretty good for one life. Centurion free. FB Ashley. Same gun though. That works. I saw someone fire. Oh, we well, multiple guys over here. Damn it, missed his sides. That was the perfect moment right there. Ooh. He's still peeking. Oh. Yep. I breathe, save me. The reverse speed of uh, the GSU is... It's not the worst, but it's better than the FP4000 over there. It's like minus 3 or 4. Almost done. And done. Is that friendly? Yeah, friendly plane. I can pen that pan for pretty easy uh, from this range. As long as I just hit his turret perfectly. Could be uh, a problem with inaccurate guns. At least when you auto them. Yep, first shot got him. I just thought that the bullets traveled too fast and I shot in front of him too much. Better kills a kill, right? Don't have the most shells, though. Something on A, medium tank. Didn't check the kill feeds. Could be something like an M48, which are really annoying for a ZSU to kill. We're going. I don't think it's the FV4000. I think it's way too sluggish. Talking about FV. Yep. Someone lost their wing. Hopefully not left wing. I'm pretty sure it already got a hole in it. This guy is probably still around here. Like a really tiny medium tank. Or he's buying these rocks. Or it was just Panther that died. Yeah, it seems like it was the Panther. This cap is uh, still pretty nice, but it's a sniping cap point, or either you snipe or you get sniped at. As you say that. Yeah, I'm kinda out in the open. Didn't do any damage to Wisdom before. Those were bad shots by me. Tell me that's not good. Let's just uh, reload. Hope we rearm as well. I think that's the respawn right there, so we need some cover. I should, yeah, never mind. We don't need to rearm crew. Not much time left, anyways. Just push them. We way more fun. So far, nine tank kills. Nine. That's a pretty good amount, right? Or 
Alright, let's get ready. I'm guessing, uh... French? The light tank. Ugh. Oh, German. Yeah, the 50 cal. I'm guessing that could be a British thing with the 50 cal. Like, a, I don't know, the South African vehicles? One depression. Ah, that's a rip. Hidden Kugel Blitz. In this second game, we play on a map, Campania. A map known for its mostly urban combat, but also some medium to long range engagements on the outsides. And I hope you enjoy this upcoming game. Wait for that guy. Right, someone's coming. It's a yay for five pans is somewhere. To be careful about that. It works as well. Pretty sure that guy is still around and I'm gonna go towards B, yeah. He, here's some engine over here again. Still hear him. That's him. That was the guy I was looking for. I'll just run away now. Go somewhere else. Get more stonking kills. No 50 cows. That thing does end. And for two, I got him. Heard someone around here. There you are. You're dead. It's always satisfying. It's not as satisfying as a exploding a Panzer four or something, but killing a Tiger two with its ammo is always fun. Tiger 2. Compend that. Ammo gone. Leopard 1. Should be able to kill him. Where did that level 1 go exactly? Either that guy pushed somewhere else, or uh, knows that I'm here. Really, Stuka? We're shooting our friendlies. A hit. That's sad. It is uh, a piece, so it's to be expected. Right. He was shooting at our friendlies, and he's probably gonna bomb them as well. Unless he already bombed one the guy.
It's always nice. There's a leopard one somewhere. We don't really know where it's at. Probably behind me. Right, got him. Kind of scared of that he the first round. I've heard that people are talking about that whole break is like gone. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, it's still a heat round. Not a lot of shrapnel. And I have a lot of ammo in me. And alright, time to move. Yep. Ah, come on. Seven kills though. That's pretty good. I really enjoyed playing this old rusty thing. Especially a bit getting down to it a bit. It's really fun and it's also totally different to normal tanks, which are early MTs at its own bad rating. Two fifty seven mils easy deals with anything at its own bad rating. Some heavy tanks and tank destroyers you might have an issue with, and also some medium tanks with a lot of slopes. But otherwise, it's really fun to try it out. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to comment and leave a like or don't if you didn't. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.